and welcome to another video. Baby, sometimes, honey, these videos just write themselves. Today, we're talking about Miss Netta and Charles. Actually, we're talking about just Miss Netta. So, y'all know she was online. <laughs> I'm trying to hold my composure because the way she came on that live and basically tried to taunt the people because she allegedly was invited to the BET Awards. It was sad. It wasn't sad because that would have been a great accomplishment for her and her brand. It was sad because she actually was trying to look down on people because they were not invited. And at the end, Nobody saw her on the red carpet. Now, she never said... Well, actually, she did. She said she was invited to the BET Awards. She even said that she felt like uh, she wasn't sure yet if she was going to be um, performing her song. Like, really, bitch? You thought that you was going to be able to perform a song... Because you wrote a song talking about Charles, your lunch is ready. Now, it's a cute song, to be perfectly honest. The whole relationship between the two of them is, is cute. I mean, it really is. You know, she really seems very smitten by him. She just takes shit too far. It's like, girl, shut the fuck down. Don't nobody want that nigga. Especially now that we know... He with you and your name is a motherfucking job. Don't nobody want him. And the way that you sat there and was disrespectful to people, you ain't got to worry about it. But honey, this heifer said that she was going to the BT Awards, that she was invited to come. She was going to walk the red carpet and she wasn't sure if she was going to perform or not. So, by the way she worded it, she led us to believe that she was invited as a guest to the award show. Not just invited to go and walk the red carpet. Not only that, she uh, had to buy her own tickets. They had to pay for their own lodging. And the whole time that she was on the way there... Her and her so-called um, manager, whoever this alleged person is that was supposed to have invited them, they never had the opportunity to speak to the person. Now, it seems what has happened just from the information that we have, she was sent a message saying that she was invited to the awards. And you know how um, those scammers from Africa will uh, send something, oh, you won this, just send XYZ dollars and we'll send your gift right away. It was something like that. And she just didn't know any better. And I guess whoever her manager is, maybe he didn't know any better either because, like I said, both of them felt like she was not only invited, but that uh, she was a special of enough guest that she was going to get to perform. Now, she calls herself an icon. She also calls herself famous. It's another lady on here that I talk about. Uh, her channel name is Delicious Denise. But I call her Delirious Denise, Deadbeat Denise, Dirtyfoot Denise. And I call her that because of the way she presents herself. Not because I'm just, you know, talking down on her. It's how she presents herself, how she does things, and the fact that she does not put real effort into being a real mother to her children. That's why I call her out of her name. But, honey, this young lady done took the cake. Talking about uh, she was going to perform at the BET Awards. Now, if they would have wanted her to perform and allowed her to do so, invited her there. I don't know, that would have been a real turning point for the popular or the popularity of people. And 
I brought up the uh, famous word for a reason. Netta is popular. Her and Charles are popular. They are not famous. They are viral sensations. They are not icons. And it's really as simple as that. Y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, Netta making an absolute fool of herself going down there. And once she got there, she was told she was invited to a concert that Sexy Red and Cardi was doing, which she did not go to. Um, I guess whoever uh, was supposed to get put in tickets, this was all in conjunction with the same email. So um, she didn't have access to that. She went to her hotel room. She did take a few pictures. Now, I, I think they took an Uber from the airport to the hotel. But whatever the case may be, um, the next day they got up. Um, they did a lot of touring and sightseeing and things of this nature. But every place that she thought they were supposed to be, something happened. And they were not basically welcomed into the space. So, once it came time for the show, her and Charles went there. And when they did not get invited in, she got upset. And it was such a situation, let me just say, that they actually uh, detained her momentarily to remove her from the space. Sorry about that. I needed to drink some water. But anyway, long story short, she went down there and she was not actually invited. Then beyond there, you know, they looked for uh, gigs that they could do, like maybe hostings or some collabs just to make the trip worth it. And they weren't successful. And I'm going to be honest, I don't, she got to be embarrassed. Let, let me just say that. And the, when she finally came out and did a video, which was yesterday, baby, when I say her verbiage and the way she was talking, she was double back and triple back in. Um, it's a thing they call smoke and mirrors when you saying a bunch of shit, but ain't saying it a damn thing. That's what she had. That's what she was doing. And then instead of just coming humbly to her audience of people who like her, and saying, you know, you know, Miss Nada may have been had. I mean, I'm still new in the business, you know, this, that, and the third. Instead of coming the right way, she still had to act stink. Talking about her haters. Everybody that does not um, become your fan is not your hater. They just don't like what you offer. And Miss Nada makes herself look awful by the way she handles stuff. Like, she's bigger than people. Like that time she was talking trash about that uh, fake stuff she be wearing. Them fake Gucci she be trying to carry. Fake Louis. Because, honey, Gucci and Louis ain't giving you shit in a damn ba in, in a trash bag. And those outfits that they wear. Yes, they are, I guess you would say, knockoff. But who cares? She's living her best life. As long as she's happy, the people that follow her as fans, they're going to be happy too. But when you sit up here and basically try to spit in people's face, you're going to be looking like Netta is looking every time. Y'all, tell me what y'all think about uh, what happened and the explanation. And we will talk about it uh, more in the comments. Bye. Dress yourself in one of the expressive t-shirts from Kush Online. Over 109 styles and 18 colors. Kush takes the stress out of getting dressed. Okay, Grandma. Now take us on out of here. Oh, my God. Damn, Grandma, you gonna get me fired. Damn.
Dang. Stop what you're doing and go follow Gamble with Mish right now.